I guess you found me. Yes, sadly, we are at the very end of spooky month Halloween season. I know, I know, you've all loved it so much, but all good things must come to an end. There were a few different options. I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to go with for the end of the month movie, but after the traumatic existential crises, the creepy crawly spider action, the gallons and gallons of blood and gore that we've had this month, I decided to send this October out on a lighter note. At least I think it's a lighter note. I guess we'll find out. So we're watching a horror comedy tonight. One that I've wanted to see because I've heard it's great. We're going to be watching Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. I don't know what this movie is except that it has Alan Tudyk in it. And I love Alan Tudyk. He's hilarious. So it's already, it's already got a few extra points. My husband loves this movie. He's wanted me to watch it before. I've just never got around to doing it. So that's what we're going to do because I really need some hilarity in my life. Exhibit A. Let's get on with Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Here we should be doing this. This is still a crime scene. Sack up, Billy. Yeah, Billy. Press pass or a permit or something? Press pass this. Ooh, she's feisty. Peabody Award look great up on your... <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> That's what you get for being a wuss, Billy. One of my favorite horror comedies is Idle Hands, and I hope this is kind of in the same vein. You're either a mega beta or you're a freak. Omega beta! Who would want to be a beta? Oh, jeez. Whoa, Jesus. The can says beer. <laughs> we forgot the beer. No! I can't believe that that wasn't the first thing they packed. What kind of fret geeks are these? These are the kinds of teens I love to watch get slashed up in these movies. <laughs> Alan Tudyk makes me laugh just by existing. Read that list back to me again. So yeah, I like how that's supposed to be ominous, but I mean, maybe it's because of where I live, but like every other house has a stuffed animal head mounted on the wall. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> Yeah, we need anything else? Pickled eggs, six pounder. No one needs pickled eggs. Ah, ew. She's just human. Why don't you go over there and talk to her? Talk to her? Maybe not while you're mowing down pickled eggs, though. You are a good looking man, more or less. <laughs> you got a damn good heart. Yep. That's honestly what matters more. Let's be real. Just smile and laugh. That shows confidence. I appreciate his friend trying to help him out, but I just don't see this going well for this guy. Oh. <laughs> you guys, uh, going camping? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, oh. okay, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> what is this shit? You ain't Ralph Macchio. It's like a good looking cooler. Uh, She's just squealing and toddling away. I told you, Tucker. I'm a zero with the ladies. Oh, sweetheart. I hate my face. Come on. There's nothing wrong with your face. I can't, I can't talk to the lady folk the way you can. No one can. I mean, yeah. He looks smooth as shit, doesn't he? Life is short. You got to go after what you want. Sure as hell ain't going to just fall right in your lap. That's true, I reckon. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look up. Stand your all over the Oh God! Oh my God! Put my sleeve. Get up. My hand is stuck. On Unstuck it. Then he's got to start his car. He's out of his car. He's out of his car. We are headed to our vacation home up by Morris Lake. Sank every penny I had into it. Me and Dale here. We're gonna go fix her up. Nothing up there but pain and suffering on a scale you can't even imagine. I pulled you over because you got a broken turn signal. You no, know his problem is he was jealous because he can't afford a place of his own. <laughs> it it looked like he was uh. And the car reeks of beer. Oh, man. That was weird, though. Look at this little truck right here. I know, I know. Is that ours? <laughs> Is that ours? Oh. Don't drink and drive. It's irresponsible. It's perfect. Bless you. All right, let's go check it out inside. Yeah. Hey, you own property? You own property. 
I'll say nothing. Well, it's just a little dusty is all. It's a mansion. <laughs> well, whoever used to live here must have been an archaeologist or something. Must have been a real news junkie, too. Chubby's Chili Dog Depot. Buy three, get two free, no expiration date. All right. And that's what they see. They got my favorite board game here, too. <laughs> it's so sweet. I love them. Dreams really do come true. Oh, oh my God! Oh! Well, I guess we should fix that. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's fucking booby trapped. You can get off of me now. <laughs> now, do you fuckers want to hear a real story? I love that they are just picture perfect, stereotypical slasher movie teens. I love it. <laughs> if you got asthma, you probably shouldn't be smoking, son. The Memorial Day Massacre. It was 20 years ago today. Always is. A bunch of college kids, just like us, came out here to have a good time. They always do. Hey, man, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, put that back on. No, no, this is cool. This is cool. I like this. Oh! That is how anybody runs downhill, honestly. Only one person lived to tell this story. The rest of them just disappeared. And their bodies are buried beneath us. That doesn't make sense. How do people know where the bodies are buried? Because if you know where the bodies are buried, they would have removed them. That's okay, Tuck. You, you take that. That's yours. That's because you don't stick up for yourself. Sometimes it's hard. Do Ow. not even think about it. But you just said... You have to try. He's not going to let you, but you have to try. You got nothing to worry about, Allie. It's just me. <laughs> yeah, Chad will totally protect you. Like you're better than everyone else. I don't think... Yeah, you do. But that's okay. Because I am too. I'm glad that we have this chance to get to know each other better. You got a weak chin. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, come on, stop. Why? Because she doesn't want it. What's that all about? Titties! I don't know. My guess would be that they don't really want to see us right now. I kind of want to see them. Bah. Naughty. Oh. <laughs> oh, bless him. Tucker. Shush. <laughs> you were being a peeping Tom. You were hopeless. Do you know that? You're hopeless. He's sweet. You're in the boat. Come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, we got your friend. Oh god! They got Allison! Oh my god! What a bunch! We got your friend! Why the hell are they running away? What a load of rotten pine cones. The police from the store! They captured Allison! I mean, how stupid do you have to be? Although, why they wouldn't take her to a hospital? Let me guess, he's gonna get all choked up and not be able to actually explain anything to her. Yeah, hey, Pancake, I'm all gonna make you something else. I'll just... <laughs> She's concussed. Just take five seconds to explain where she is and what happened. Can we go to the police? Yeah, and what, just leave Allison with them? If they already ate her, what different... She gets it. We can handle this on our own. Chad couldn't handle his balls with both hands. Doesn't mean they're psycho killers. Then why don't you go in there and talk to them? Maybe I will. It's funny because he's right. He's the smartest one so far. What normally in a horror movie, it'd be a terrible idea. <laughs> Try to make this romantic and it's not working. Uh, me and Tucker, I mean, uh, uh, I and Tuck. Don't worry about the grammar. Fell and banged your head and then you fell into the water. You were spying on us? No, no. We were fishing on the pond that you don't own. Where are my friends? They ran off. Some people just aren't any good in a crisis. <laughs> That's my dog, Drangers. He, he looks mean, but he's just a big old marshmallow. I don't think he has any teeth, poor thing. Do you guys have anything to, to do around here? Do you like board games? <laughs> Here's my favorite. Trivia up. <laughs> what are they going to see next that they're going to completely misinterpret? Because they're dumber than a box of rocks. Damn Romeo. Trivia board game. You definitely get my interest. Just saying. <laughs> oh no. Ah, 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 run! Run me alive! <laughs> what are the odds of that? Oh no. No, 
Now that is kind of an understandable misinterpretation. at that i've been impaled <laughs> is he figuring this out as he's dying that's why you always look forward when you're running god put our eyes on the front of our heads for a reason god you were right again you are killing me i got this weird brain i'm dumb as a stump but i remember everything that i ever heard there's a difference between education and intellect she's not an awful person is she bachelor's degree in psychology what kind of work would you do with that good question tell me when you figure it out so many of the major conflicts in the world are caused by a lack of communication <laughs> that's the theme of this whole damn movie hey hey Woo! i saw it into a bee's nest <laughs> why <laughs> and i'll help you with whatever you want all right i'd like that thank you okay oh my god relax tucker and dale are on the case ain't that right tucker <laughs> be careful, okay? I, my friends can be kind of judgmental. And stupid. This thing, okay? It doesn't work out here. <clears throat> so you smash it? <laughs> what are you doing, man? That's my whole face. You have serious issues, you know that? A smart little college girl like that, and I was beating the crap out of her. Damn it. When we get back, I'll finish her off real quick, and then we'll get back to work, okay? They're gonna kill her. Some misunderstandings are stupid. And some are completely understandable. And I hate that I'm calling these idiots understandable. College kids! Hey, college kids! College kids! <laughs> Jesus! Maybe we could leave them a note in case they come back. Right, with what? Oh, no. Oh, please, what does it say? <gasps> we got your friend. Now someone's 100% ending up in that wood chipper. Did you guys find my friends? Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. Down boy. Crapper hole, it's a, sh it's a hole. It's for the shit house, crap house. Out house hole. An out house hole. I grew up on a farm. I've done this before, believe it or not. Yeah. She's dug a shitter hole before. So you're gonna help or he's gonna stand there staring at me? Uh -huh. Help out or get out. Fuck, he's making her dig her own grave. <laughs> we don't have much time. She looks real distressed. Your friends are here! Hey! Oh! Oh yeah, 100%. He's running right in. Kid. He just hooked himself right into the wood chipper. What? Hep Is that your blood? What? No. No, it's college kid blood. One of those suckers came running out of nowhere and speared himself straight through the gut and died right on top of me, Todd. Holy crap. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I know what this is. What? This is a suicide pact. It's a what? They're killing themselves all over the woods. Oh, my God. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Does it really? You have got to hide all of the sharp objects. <laughs> The sharp object. I think they're trying to kill her too. That's why they acted so funny after we saved her because they want her dead. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's good that you don't know. It's good that I don't know because if we knew, then they would want to kill us too. Both of these groups think they're in two very different movies. That's a good idea, Dale. Howdy ho, officer. We've had a doozy of a day. <laughs> there we were minding our own business. The kids started killing themselves all over my property. That's exactly what happened. Doesn't matter what happened, That's what matters true. is what looks like what happened. Perception is reality. Shouldn't be smoking anyway, Chloe. It's not good for you. Well, I think she deserves one right now. How many people do you think get a chance for something like this? The chance to die? The chance to live. To be free from people always telling you what you can and can't do. Wow, this one's completely embracing the horror movie aesthetic. 
And if you don't think you can handle that, maybe you deserve to die. All right, crazy boy. Check out the police. Let's go. No, you don't need the fucking cops. If what you think is happening is happening, yeah, you kind of do. Oh, damn, and they're pretty good. Do they got a reverse button? No, get off me. Take off me, get off me. Get off me. Not like that. Oh, God. He's heavy oh, for God. half a guy. <laughs> oh, fuck. Where on earth did we go from here? We have had a doozy of a day. <laughs> a real doozy. There we were. Yep. Making some improvements to my new house. Oh, it's gonna sound so ridiculous. When all of a sudden, out of nowhere, these kids started killing themselves all over my property. He dove head first right into the wood chipper. There's another one shoved a spear through his gullet. Now, I don't know how much experience you've had with this, but we were scared shitless. Scared shitless. He's not even drawn his weapon. You must think that I'm some kind of moron to believe a story like that. No. No, sir. Not a moron. Not just open-minded. <laughs> they might be trying to kill the girl that we have inside. She can maybe explain the whole thing if I hadn't have knocked her unconscious with a shovel. <laughs> this is why you don't talk, sweetie. You say she's unconscious? Yeah, she's in my bedroom. <laughs> oh, the nail board. Yeah, right, right this way. Let's show him. Okay, come on, let's show him. Like Great idea. I mean, anytime I feel like if you see a dead body come out the wood chipper, like the de-escalation is over. Fries are equal. I told you boys to stay away from this place. But you just didn't listen, did you? Now you're looking at least two counts of involuntary manslaughter. He even believes the story. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! Oh, I knew it! Wait. Oh, oh fuck! How's he even walking right now, Doc? <laughs> he looks like he's gonna walk it off. He's gonna be fine. He gonna walk it off. He gonna be fine. He gonna be fine. I told you to should fix that thing. <laughs> You are not putting this on me, do you understand me? I was right Oh, honey, oh, if you don't know how to handle a gun, oh, that's not a good idea. I know you don't know how to handle a gun. I know you don't. I was going to have a little more time to fix the thing. Heads up. Uh, uh. You gotta take the safety off on the side there. Boom. Don't do it. <laughs> None of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. Being such a goddamn good Samaritan. Oh, let's save her. Oh, let's save her. Don't you dare blame us on her. I'm not blaming this whole thing on her. I'm blaming this whole thing on you. None of this would have happened if we hadn't have gone fishing. Also true? I don't even like fishing. You don't like... Oh. What do you mean you don't like fishing? I, I mean... Oh, right in the heart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tucker. Did I hurt your feelings? Yeah, you kind of did. Oh, you cut him to the bone. Where's Jankers? Uh-uh. Shit. Uh-uh. Hey, Hillbilly, uh -huh. your move. Oh, son of a bitch. Dogs are off limits. <laughs> I really couldn't care less what happens to Chad. Try not to shoot me. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I'll try. You want some of this? What? What the hell is that? If you kill my dog, I swear to God, I swear to God, I'll get really mad. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Just like a dog. <laughs> Try to get impaled on no tree like your dumb friend. Tottering around in her stupid shoes. Why are they all bent on this now? I would just be going away. Even if this was a horror movie, they're doing all the wrong damn things. God, please, no. All right, trap set. Look at these, look at these absolute donuts. If you think he's a killer, why wouldn't you just kill him when you had the chance? What is this shit? I've never stood so close to pure evil before. It kind of stinks. That's your friend's guts all over him. Hey, I got 10 to 12 beers in there. 10 to 12. This is for Mike. No! That is ah! Ah! What did you do to him? Allison, how are you feeling? 
a little fuzzy. Well, anything that knocks you out for more than a couple minutes is pretty goddamn serious. <sighs> now tell me what happened. I don't even know how you explain this. Do some of your friends take medication? <laughs> Why? Because I think they forgot to take it. <laughs> yeah, first I thought they were trying to kill you, and then they started killing themselves. They tried to kill us, and now they're going after my dog. Jangle? I guess they just like killing. My my friends would never hurt anyone. Oh my god, Jesus, there you go. Oh! <laughs> No, 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 no. It's all just a big misunderstanding. You are gonna end up dead too. Oh. Looks too small to be a hand. Is it a finger? That's from Tucker's shirt. What is that? <gasps> it's a couple fingers. I should have known that if a guy like me talked to a girl like you, somebody'd end up dead. That's an interesting leap of logic. That's what happens, kids, when you make snap judgments about a person. People end up dead. <sighs> oh! Goddamn stupid college kids. Goddamn stupid college kids. Tucker! Hell, it's a trap. What? It's a trap. What? It's a trap. Oh no, oh no, Tucker! Oh no, oh no, oh no, please! Wow! Oh, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad I'm not hung like a bear. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. This vacation sucks. <laughs> this is where evil lives. This shithead really does think he's in a horror movie, doesn't he? This has all been a huge misunderstanding. We have to burn this place to the ground. He really thinks he's the hero of a horror movie. You have no idea what this is all about. A lot more than you, fuckface. I remember reading about this in my sociology class. It's called the Stockholm Syndrome. You wouldn't learn about Stockholm Syndrome in a sociology class, you fucking wingnut. When someone who's been kidnapped ends up falling in love with their kidnapper. And you don't even understand it. You're not falling in love with that freak. How could you love him? And that's what we're fixated on. Right back around to your penis. Tell me! <laughs> hey! Let the girl go. Damn, that is a man right there. How about I make some tea and, and we all <laughs> sit and, and talk this out? This is not gonna work. I'll provide the finger sandwiches. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a beer. Okay, Chad, you sit here, okay? She is really gonna try a mediation. Is that chamomile tea? Because I can't have that. It fucks with my asthma. I want you each to tell your side of the story. As you're listening to the other person, see yourself in their shoes. I wonder if she could put this on her resume. You see, my parents, they were attacked by hillbillies just like him. It was 20 years ago. Memorial Day Massacre. Brutally murdered everyone. But my mom, she fought back and she escaped. My father wasn't so lucky. So this is your villain origin story. My mother was institutionalized. I grew up hearing that story from my grandmother. It sounds made up. Yeah, it's me. We come in guns blazing. You don't even have a gun. Damn it, woman. <laughs> Are they drinking tea? They're fucking trapped. How do you figure? Maybe if they all end up dead, the problem will be solved. Sorry that your family got massacred. I didn't have anything to do with that. Right? So now that you've both expressed your side of the story. You, you, you didn't. They didn't, though. They didn't. Showtime, freaks! <laughs> Go back to hell where you belong, freak! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit! Oh, Dad, fuck, man? No, no, don't, don't use that! Whoosh! You're stupid! Crack went like a log! Oh, that stinks! <laughs> oh, shit! Maybe I should've moved that. Maybe you should've. <laughs> Ellie! 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 Kaboom! Get, help me! Get off me, you nasty bitch! It was, it was all your fault! 75% of it! Oh, Kevin. Kevin. I'm a terrible therapist. You tried, honey. You tried. You can't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. Maybe we should help him. And Limp Lungs here does not want to be helped. No! Oh! N never mind, let's just go! Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> Eyes forward. You can't catch us now. Dude, God put our eyes on the front of our heads for a reason. He took her. 
I've tried to stop him. <coughs> oh, take it easy. It's gonna be a long time before I take a vacation again. Oh, shit. True that. People like me and people like her just don't mix. It's not true. It is true. No, it's not true. Do you remember when we was kids and we used to go catch frogs down at that creek? We used to compete to see who could catch more. And I used to tell you that I let you catch more than me because I felt sorry for you. I remember you used to let me lick them all too. That always made me feel kind of funny. <laughs> I didn't let you catch more. You caught them on your own. You was quicker than I was. Come on, Tucker. It's true. What I'm trying to tell you is that you're better than you think you are. Aww. That girl sees it. I've seen the way that two of you look at each other. I see it. I think that she really sees you for who you are. Please don't be dying. That means a lot coming from you. <sighs> Life is short. Oh, no. Not too short yet, though, right? She needs you now more than ever. Especially because she's always falling down and hitting her head, knocking <laughs> herself out. That is a problem. But I'm not leaving you here. No, 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 no. I'll be fine. You better be. Friends forever. Best friends forever. I'll be very pissed if he dies, I promise. Kick the shit out of that little college dickhead for me, would you? Yes. I'm gonna shove my boot down his fucking throat. Yes. You sit here going on and on and on about evil. Evil this, evil that. Blah, 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 blah. He doesn't even realize he's the evil one. Or maybe he does. Don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing. More or less. And how I go through life. Any idea what I've been through trying to save you? No. She didn't want you to save her. She doesn't want anything to do with you. She never really did. I'm willing to forgive you, but you're gonna have to beg. Ew! That was just not a very nice apology kiss. Please. That's a story. Do you think he smells like a burnt hot dog? You want a killer hillbilly? I'll show you a killer hillbilly. It's just me. I thought it might look kind of intimidating. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you for coming for me. It's no big deal. I was I was headed over this way anyway, so. You shouldn't have betrayed me, Allison. What is this? A Popeye cartoon? <laughs> You're a cheater. can't even breathe right without pharmaceuticals. Kick his ass. That was lucky, but I'll take it. It's time for you to feel my pain. Bring it, frat bitch. Yeah. You and your stupid polo shirt. Dale, here. Oh, yeah, give me that. No way. Look at the guy in the middle. He looks just like that Kentucky Fried College kid down there. Single survivor leads police to the Memorial Day killer. Survivor is reported to have been tortured and So his father was the hillbilly. Holy S-H-I-T. I forgot he had a chainsaw. You're a hillbilly too! <laughs> You're a hillbilly by blood, bitch! No! It's true, Chad. You're half hillbilly. It's not true. That's it's impossible. impossible. Maybe they just didn't want you to know the truth. There is no truth. Everything is a lie. <laughs> hey, I'm Thomas Nobilis. It's the ingredient in chamomile tea that can cause an anaphylactic reaction. Like I said, I remember weird stuff. But he'll be okay as long as we get him his inhaler. Oh! Mm. We're not. No. I see no impalement. The chaos and confusion of what transpired here. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm feeling high on prescription medication. Woo! They found my fingers. Check it out. I gotta tell you, I don't remember that one looking that way. Does it look funny to you? What else I got you? Oh. Mandy Stroll, your favorite sipping utensil. <gasps> Did you ask her out for God's sake? She kind of mentioned to me that she's a pretty darn good bowler. So we're going bowling. <laughs> Sometimes the girl takes the lead, and that's all right, too. You have to go after what you want, because it sure as heck fire ain't just gonna fall right into your lap. Except it did for you. I think, you know, it might just be better if you wear that every day from now on. <laughs> if we're ever gonna get to spend this kind of time together again, I just want to let you know that I... Woo! BJ! Should we go help her? Hell no. 
<laughs> no, screw it. I did that once. It got very dicey. Oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> that was a great time. I, I don't even know if I would call that a horror comedy. I don't really think there was a lot of elements of horror to it. It was it was a little bit kind of meta almost, kind of flipping horror on its head. I could see where it was going pretty much right away, so that wasn't terribly surprising. What did surprise me was how much I fell in love with Tucker and Dale. I didn't expect to love them as much as I did. I love them so much. They were so funny. They were so sweet. Such great guys. I I wanted I want only good things for them forever, and I'm I'm glad they got it. I loved I loved the turning the whole like horror tropes all on their heads, but playing into some of them at the same time, and the whole yeah the misunderstanding thing. Sometimes it was really stupid. Other times it's like you kind of understand why they thought that, but it all came down to yeah just the message of just you know. First impressions don't mean everything, and don't make assumptions about people. Because you might just end up dead, and it might even be your fault. Thank you all so much for watching my reaction to Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun watching it. If you did like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It takes two seconds, it's free, it helps me out. Why wouldn't you want to do that, right? Anyways. I hope you have a great Halloween. Whatever it is you're doing, whoever it is you're with, I hope you have a ton of fun. Love you all so much. Take care, and I will see you next time.